Hey guys, in this quick video, we are going to download an NFT image from IPFS and display it on a game object. You can see here that we're using a Bard Ape uh, to display it, and we have some uh, debug information here. And uh, let's open up the script that powers this. I'll just move this over. Um, so you can see here that we have um, a serialized object for the attributes. Um, a response object for the image that we're going to uh, grab. Uh, we create a game object uh, for the cube for this script to attach to. You can see uh, some of the information that we need for the chain safe gaming SDK. Uh, so we set the chain to Ethereum, the network to mainnet. This is the contract address for the Bard Ape and the token ID. So you can see here if I bring up the board eight that we're going to use for this example and we go to the details here's the contract address the token id um, the uh, standard the token standard so this is an erc721 and it's on mainnet ethereum so the first thing we do here is that after we plug in this information we get the uh, token uri which defines the actual um, metadata for this object so if we brought up the metadata, this is what it looks like. And you'll notice here that we have this IPFS. So in this first part for the actual uh, URI, it also being IPFS, we need to do a URI replace and just replace this with an HTTPS. We print out the URI, as you can see from the console debug here. Scroll up and you'll see that this URI is uh, displayed there. And I can kind of see both, so I'll move this over. And next we do our Unity web request. We pass in the URI that we have um, displayed here. Then we do a JSON convert for this response object that we have created up here. Now the image itself, it also being IPFS, we need to, to perform the same logic. So if we see that it starts with IPFS, we're gonna replace the IPFS with the HTTPS. We do some uh, debug information for the image URI. Uh, we print out some attributes for our board ape. We can see that it has fur, mouth, and it's wearing a hat, as we can see from our example here also. Right. And next, we want to fetch the image and display it in game. So we use our Unity web request texture. We pass in the image URI that we've gotten here. We await the uh, texture request that we have uh, gotten. And then we apply this image texture onto our game object's main uh, texture, which overwrites its material and then we have a fixed update just for some rotating that you see here. And that's basically it. So hopefully you're able to get an idea of how this works in a very short and concise video. And the source code for this will be released in the show notes. Talk to you later, bye.